The quintessential summer activity in the United States is having a barbecue and throwing a frisbee. But uh, when I went to find out who made the best frisbee for throwing in a backyard, I found out no one had any videos about that on YouTube. There were lots of videos on trick shots, throwing for distance, playing uh, frisbee golf, but not on which frisbee is best for the backyard. And it's kind of uh, interesting because throwing in a backyard has certain limitations that have to be taken into account. For example, most backyards are surrounded by a six foot fence. You don't want a frisbee that flies too far or too fast or you're gonna lose it into your neighbor's yard. Uh, you want one because it's probably going to involve uh, being used by children. You want one that throws uh, fairly easily, is comfortable to hold, and flies straight. Uh, because of the limitations of the size of a backyard, having a frisbee that does all sorts of neat tricks isn't too practical because it's likely to, again, get lost over the fence or uh, mess up the flower beds. So what I did is I collected all the frisbees I could find from local stores and uh, via Amazon and I purchased them and uh, this video is going to uh, look at testing each of these to see how they work in the backyard. What I'm looking for is a frisbee that's comfortable to hold, easy to throw, provides stable flight and pretty much just flies in a straight and level flight. Let's take a look at some of the selections. First up we have the classic 8 inch uh, original frisbee by Whammo. Now, uh, these are only a dollar at Walmart. Uh, they're uh, eight inches across and uh, a little light. And the edge is a little too shallow for adults, but children seem to be able to hold it well. Now I have a problem when I throw this is in that it tends to, uh, during flight, roll over to the right and veer off. I assume that's a, a, a hitch in my throw uh, but I, uh, because I see it in virtual, uh, virtually every frisbee I, I, I throw, um, what I find I have to do with all of these, regardless of the size, is angle it slightly like this, and then it tends to average out to a straight flight. It still rolls over, but by the time it gets across the yard, it's still going straight. So, let's see how it does. Here's the same frisbee in a uh, different color. What I wanted to do uh, with this was to add a narrow ring of soft foam rubber to the inside to make the grip more comfortable, which it does. And uh, this really makes it uh, much nicer. A, a surprise is that this frisbee does not roll to the right as much as the other one. It flies much straighter. Here's how it looks. This is a more serious disc. This was like uh, $9 through Amazon. This is Discraft. Uh, many consider this about the best Frisbee. It's a 10 incher and uh, weighs 175 grams. Feels a little heavy in the hand, uh, but the lip is the best. This is the most comfortable Frisbee to hold. And the profile is slightly different. Instead of a uniform curve that flattens out fairly quickly, it has a a flat bevel here and then it seems to hold the curve a little bit longer to the center. What I find with this with many of the, uh, the standard size frisbees is that they tend to wobble a little bit on initial release. Again that might be just because of the way I release them uh, but that's an important factor because if you want uh, something that flies reliably and simply for children to use then uh, you want something that, that does so without any having to learn any special throwing tricks and let's see how it does. This is the Innova Boss Blizzard Champion. This is the uh, flying disc, can't call it frisbee, uh, that holds the current world record for distance thrown, uh, 863.5 feet. This is a terrible frisbee for the backyard. It's heavy, it uh, has very uh, 
sharp edge, so if children are using it, they can uh, hurt themselves with it. Uh, and because of its small surface area, it doesn't fly very far. You really have to hurt. This isn't intended to be thrown. This is intended to be hurled uh, with the same vigor of, of say, a discus, uh, Olympic discus thrower. So, uh, anyways, here's how it looks. You have to push this one. Similarly, the Discraft X Stratus is designed for hard throws. This is actually intended for high-end frisbee golf. Like the distance thrower we just did, I, you have to throw this a little too hard and it doesn't go very uh, far for backyard use. I think it's worse. Now we're getting a little far afield. This is the Aero B Super Disc. It has a soft rubber edge, so it's a little bit safer. It's supposed to have a special aerodynamic profile here so that it flies better. It has more weight relative to its total weight on the outside. The inside's very light and thin. And uh, this tends to fly very well, very level, and it hovers well, so you get a lot of, of uh, air time uh, out of each throw. I like this one a lot. Here's another Aero B. This is a 12 incher. Same idea. Tends to be a little bit heavy. You have to throw it a little hard. Uh, but the uh, reflectors on the top uh, many times will uh, create a flashing effect, which uh, a lot of kids like. This is, these are also very easy to catch. And uh, here we have the Aero B Pro. This is a flying ring. Uh, very interesting thrower. Has a very thin profile, very soft edge, easy to catch. You have to throw this a little bit harder than the regular Frisbees because it doesn't have anything in the middle to support it. All the lift it gets is from the two, the leading edge and the trailing edge. Uh, this is kind of dangerous for the backyard because it uh, has a very non-linear response to how hard it's thrown. If you throw it a little too soft, it falls short fairly quickly. If you throw it just a little bit harder, it'll sail like a gull. I mean, it, it's very easy to lose this over a, uh, a wall into the neighbor's yard. Uh, but it does fly very straight, and it is very easy to catch. So let's see how this one does. The final results are that James preferred the disc craft. He said it had a good weight, a good feel. He felt that he could lean into it and get a better throw. I prefer the feel and the throwability of the 10 inch Aero B, but I like the flight of the 12 better. This seems to hang in the air longer. It's also larger, so it's easier to see. What I wish is they'd make an 11 inch version that had the best properties of both. While this video was about frisbees for the backyard, I have to say afterwards, uh, James and I took the Aero B ring out to the park and gave it some really good tosses. And I have to say, if you have a large field, and I mean something about the size of a soccer field, this thing is almost like magic. It just sails and it flies and it's so graceful and so easy to throw and so stable that it, it really is a great device. Uh, but for the backyard, it tends to go a little too high and too far. Uh, too great a risk that you're going to lose it. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and happy frisbee throwing.